What in the world? <laughs> PS2. What? That's crazy. Mamma mia! What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand stores like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. I absolutely love collecting these nostalgic childhood pieces from my past, but it's not fun to me to just get on eBay, to get online and buy this stuff. It is all about the thrill of the hunt. And today we are headed back out to a flea market that, that we always we always score at. So we're gonna go hunt there. And then I also have a package that I'm gonna open up from one of my very favorite YouTubers. He said that he found some stuff that he thought that I would like. So we're about to get into it. But before we do, if you do love all things, 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button every single Monday and Thursday. We're coming out with new retro nostalgic content, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into the hunt. The toy of cards. That Mike Trout is sick. I love that. There's a Zion. There's a bunch of sealed games. Yeah. They're not sealed games, sealed cards. I wish there were sealed games. Cards have just went so far. I think they've plummeted the past couple months, but there's still value there. Look at that Ozzy Smith. Some pops, Jon Snow, Deadpool. How much are these? How much are pops at a flea market? 10. This seems like probably the price, you know? I don't know how much they go for. How much are pops at the store? I have no idea. That Thanos is pretty rad, though, I will say. Serious. Okay, those Flintstone, Flintstone little buttons are really cool. Pins, buttons, I can't tell. Okay, this is sweet. Look at this, man. Is it old? It says it's, it says it's vintage. Let's see. 1997. Tony the Tiger Man. That's cool. I'm, is he a dollar? Oh, he's nine. I was like, if he's a dollar, I don't even care if I'm not collecting plushes, I'm getting him for a buck, but he's nine. Well, if it did, did find some Star Wars figures. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 90, you nope, know, this is 2000. I was gonna say they look like eight, uh, late 90s. This clone trooper is pretty rad. It's just cool to see this stuff sealed up. 2001, I mean, it's 20 years old. Looks, looks pretty good, man. Ah, uh, seeing some classics right off the bat. Got Harry the Spy, Rugrats the movie. I actually really liked this Jack Frost movie. Michael Keaton. The story of a man who got a second chance to be the world's coolest dad. As long as you hold someone in your heart, you can never lose them. Jack Frost. I love this movie, it's so good. I remember him playing in N64 in it at some point. A bunch, like a bunch of old workout VHS. The Firm. Are there any, do you think there are any VHS workout collectors? Like collectors of old VHS of the workout? I don't know, man, maybe. I like this. Everything 40 and under is 50% off. Dude, that's crazy. What is this? We got a Star Trek. Oh, it's like the album? That's cool. So this would be 50 cents. Like, that's crazy. No, I don't, you guys know I'm not a Star Trek fan, but geez, that's, that's cheap. Oh man, look at this. For the fans. Any, any classic VHS? Mm. None that I need. Okay, that stinks, because that's cheap, man. Anything under 40 is 50% off. Bummer. It's all been taken. I don't know if I've ever seen a Viewmaster that's blue like this. Is this like the original? Dude, that thing is old looking. Look at that. 
Look at the font. I like the font. Huh. Not in the market for a TV, but it's just crazy to me how much TVs are now. Like $200 for this ginormous TV. Like that's a great deal, man. I don't need it, but if I needed a TV and that was here, it'd be mine. What's over here? Garfield the movie? I never saw that. Was this any good? No idea. Always copious amounts of undrank soda. Look at this. Oh. oh no. What is this? I don't know what this is. Micro Cosmos? Is this like a Bugs Live for Ants ripoff? I've never seen that ever in my life, and I know way too much about 90s stuff. Okay, what is this? Here's some old figures. Retro action figures. Look at these little guys. There's a little Power Ranger. What else is in there? Y'all know? Who's that guy? I don't know who that is. Nine, nine figures for eight dollars. Probably not a bad price, but I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to. Ooh, the Karate Kid 2. I actually don't have this on DVD. Three bucks? Hmm, I might get that. Mm -hmm. Oh, our first game, it is Big Brain Academy. Yeah. Eight bucks, Ooh. That almost makes me not wanna get that. I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold off. If I need it, I'll come back. I'll, I'm gonna think on it, I'm gonna stew on it. What is this? A CD storybook? CD-ROM technology is opening up a new world of storytelling. Play games and interact with your favorite characters. Search for hidden surprises. Discover the artistry of Disney storytelling. And the latest in CD-ROM technology. Coming soon for your home computer. This is something I've never seen before. I've never seen a CD storybook. It looks like it's missing the CD potentially. Was it here? Was it here? It looks like it. You got Toy Story, Aladdin, Lion King. Little Mermaid, crazy, I've never seen, I've never seen this before. Intriguing. Some pretty retro or vintage Barbies. I mean, these look definitely early 90s, at least. 95, 95. School Spirit Barbie. There's actually two of those, Dutch Barbie. I mean, of course. All right, this booth usually has a couple things that are pretty cool. Good old booth 89, killing it, just killing it. Got a lot of golden books over here. Let's see, let's see if we can't find a couple interesting ones. Big Bird, Mickey Mouse Picnic. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let's really, let's really dig right here. I'd love to find some more Chippendale, Tailspin, something. Ooh, this is working out well. Tom and Jerry. Ooh, I didn't know they made Rugrats Golden Books. Did you guys know this? Okay. SpongeBob? What in the world? Okay, what year? What year is this? Okay, it's 2012. So I didn't know. I thought Golden Books was like just a super old thing. Like, you know, Barney, that definitely looks 90s. I feel like I always see this one. I always see it. What the Powerpuff Girls? What in the world? Like, I didn't know that they had those. That's wild. Well, none that I was looking for, but cool to uh, uncover or discover that there's SpongeBob Golden Books and Rugrats ones. Man, this has been here for a long time. Nobody wants the Bill Clinton action figure for 20 bucks. It's boxed, man. Get that thing graded. Uh, the aesthetics of this cooler are amazing. Wait, what are you doing? You plug it in, it's a car cooler. Y'all, I need this for my minivan. I don't have a minivan, but one day I will be completely indoctrinated into the dad life and I need this cooler. That's pretty cool. Behold, the soccer green beady baby in the case. Oh, dude, look at it. It's so nostalgic. 1999, so not super old, but who drank out of these back in the day? I did at my grandparents' house. Guys, little Welch's grape jars. So cool. I mean, this is cool, too. Look at this Garfield jar. 
I want all this stuff in my house. Like, that's what I want all of my beverages to be in. Oh, pops. Some more pops. Who we got? Who we got? Uh, bazooka? Bazooka Joe? Bazooka is the most fun bubblegum you ever bubbled. <laughs> bazooka. Try new Bazooka soft sugarless bubblegum. Okay, that's pretty cool. Didn't know they made a pop of him. So many DVDs. So many. Don't need any. Moving on. Here are some games. Oh, I even see some DS games. Don't ever see DS games. But the games I'm seeing are not the ones that I want to see. High School Musical, ooh. Uno and Trace. <sighs> Terrible. Hey, here's Trap Team on the Wii. He found this on Xbox One or PS4. You know we're picking that up. Some good value there, but not. I don't believe that one does. I mean, it's at least good to see an OG PS1 game, but no good. Hey, look. Oh, look at this. Here is an Atari flashback, but it's got all of the hookups. Does it have the power? It does. That's actually not a bad deal right there. 10 bucks for that's not bad. I actually need one of the uh, controllers for my for mine for the $10 from the $10 game collection. But I think I'm gonna pass it out. This this is what I like, y'all. This is catchphrase. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, I'm getting this. <laughs> Just because it's working, and it's catchphrase Star Wars. Michael, if you're watching this, I'm buying this specifically for you. You better appreciate it, all right? Whoa, look at this. Dude, this is a Franklin Tiger handheld. What? I had no idea they made this. Five? Here's the thing, man. I collect this stuff, but I I just don't need this, but this is rad. I loved this show back in the day. I mean, how could you not hear that opening song and, and not sing it? Come on. Hey, it's Franklin Coming over to play DVDs over here. Ooh, you got like the complete collection of Indiana Jones? Ooh, Dang, dude, look. Tailspin, we're just talking about Tailspin. Let's begin. So this is volume two. I don't have this. I don't have any Tailspin on DVD, so this will be my start to my, to uh, completing some Tailspin. DVD sets. Sick. Do y'all remember this show? This was the saddest thing ever. The Joe Schmo Show. It's a reality show that's not real. The Joe Schmo Show. Tuesday at 9. Basically, he thinks he's on a reality TV show, but in fact, they're all actors except for him. Oh, it was so sad. Terrible idea for a show. He was devastated. He's like, so you're not really my friend? They're like, no, we're all actors. Oh, horrible, man. Horrible. Whoa, these are amazing. Oh, look at how they look. They're so silver and wood grain. Man. Oh, those are sick. I mean, just like to have on your mantle in your living room or something. Amazing. Oh, look at all of the VHS. Oh, this is the one. I'm telling y'all, this is the one my sisters used to watch. I was going to tell you what it has. It's got like silver on the front, like a mirror. Monica or Leah, sister shout out right now. If you're watching this, holy cannoli, this is the one y'all watched every day. <laughs> that's wild. That's crazy. I'm just telling you, that's, that's crazy for me. It'll be even crazier for them. I want to go through these, but I kind of don't. And I'm not going to. So much old Coke. Gross. 
Oh man, look at the Mickey D's glasses. So many. The Great Muppet Caper. I see these quite frequently. Two bucks is not bad. I already have this one. Gonzo. They're pretty faded. This one's not. This is actually in good shape. Kermit. And because it's in better shape, it's more expensive, but pretty cool. Guys, I will not forget this stuff. I'm making a point to talk through this because sometimes I do this. I'll put stuff down and then I'll walk off to the next section and forget stuff. Not today. I'm remembering. All right. Got some toys. Some Iron Man. Okay. Okay. This is a Power Ranger figure. It says it's vintage. What's vintage to them? It is 2003. Uh, I don't know if I'd say that's vintage, but I mean, almost 20 years old. Retro for sure. I'm gonna go through these for a second. Those look like mostly Legos. Uh, yeah, nothing I'm interested in. Comic books for sale. All right, let's see. Let's get in here. Just for a second, here's a bunch of X-Men. X-Factor. I don't know what the difference is. Y'all tell me if you know the difference between X-Factor and just like X-Men. I don't know. Okay, here's here's X-Men one at the front. That's pretty rad. I mean, it's just the covers, man. They look so cool, the artwork. Where's the Nintendo ones? I'll never see them. Look at this old robot. Whoa. Look at him. Force bot. All right, I gotta get some cool shots of him. Look at this. That is rad. How old is this? This is, this is from the 80s. Okay, no battery, no battery cover, but not really much corrosion. Just a cool old robot. That's cool, man. I have three robots right now in the collection, and he'd be a cool display piece. Seven fifty for an eighties for an eighties robot toy. I'm in. I'm in. Let's do this. Okay, this is cute. This is a Mr. Potato Head in a Mr. Potato Head case that looks like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Oh, these are cool. Look at these old little pinball things. Okay, those are rad. Are these locked? <gasps> no, I can get to it, yippee. That is cool, dude. That is so cool. How old is this? Does it say? Vintage space pinball game. I mean, it's so cool. That's just so cool. What to do, what to do, I'm thinking couple thermoses down here that I missed. You got an M&M is one, and then you got a G.I. Joe one. I think I, s I saw this one last time I was here. It is only 325, but I mean, you can tell a lot of the coloring is off. I'm gonna pass, but I mean, that's that's a good deal for that. I'm just stoked about this robot. I mean, there's people out there that like this stuff. Who, who likes beach, like specifically beach Santas playing saxophones? Maybe I guess if you're just like a Santa collector, you like the biker one with a leather jacket? I don't know, I don't know. Zoo life. Is this the one with the meme with the kid? You know what I'm talking about? Wait a minute. Who are you? If you know, you know. This right here is the infamous spot where I got the entire Sega Master System game collection for $50. I will link a card right up here. It was crazy, y'all. Uh, looks like they buy all these things, meaning they know their prices. Which, hey, you can't fault them for that. I'm trying to make money, but got a bunch. Let's see. Got some G.I. Joe. These are look these are looking somewhat newer. Dark Hawk. Dude, there are so many comics. Like so many. Here are a couple a couple games. Old Atari games. It's been a pretty sad, a sad state of affairs in terms of video games today. At this particular flea market here here here's some more here's Metal Gear Solid 4 you know for two or three bucks that'd be great but 
Look at that. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen this Star Trek game. I never have. Shattered Universe. That is 10. God, uh, Mortal Kombat XL. Yeah, Blade 2. Did I don't think I've ever seen this one. But again, you're looking at 10 bucks. Not, not gonna do it. Okay, I'm seeing a goofy mug that has my attention. Look at this. What up, Goofy? <laughs> That's cool. It doesn't look super old, but cool to see Goof. The Goof! Okay, seeing some interesting things in this booth. First off, look at the rock. Dude, you look kind of weird. You look kind of weird, man. Some Star Wars toys. And this, this has my attention right here. Electronic big time action hero. Look at that Wolverine. Wow. Look, you like have a trigger? If there's a commercial, I will show you guys for sure. But time to do battle with those big time action heroes. Giant Spider-Man and giant Wolverine. Let's go, punk. Big time Wolverine slashes. Your big time action heroes ever. Each sold separately. This thing is super rad. Can you imagine having this? displayed in your man cave 1996 toy biz now this is something i would have gotten if it wasn't 40. it's 40 20 bucks all day but that thing is really cool i love it whoa 225 for this little beetles action figure set don't know and then we do have a couple games over here you got fifa nba 2k i have found games in this booth really cheap like mario kart for a dollar two bucks um but i don't think i'm seeing anything today nope don't see anything i'm sure y'all see stuff that i'm missing y'all let me know and i'll come back it is quite hot today in this flea market i don't know if they don't have ac or if they're just like using it sparingly it's freaking hot oh i'm glad that baby is safe you're scary don't i don't like you this is one thing I can't stand, like the little old fake tins poster picture things. I can't stand those. They look so cheap to me. Look at that. It just looks terrible. If I remember right, this particular booth has like VHS for sale for like three bucks or something. Yeah, three, four. Oh man. No, not even gonna, not even gonna dive into that. Hey, look, there's a Sonic pop. Sonic with a ring. 35? Jeez. And then Pokemon cards. 30 bucks for a 10. And three each for Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds and Team Up. Y'all tell me if that's good or not. I would assume it's not. Or very much in line with just what pricing is. Whoa, look at all the brand new boxes of cards. 45, 45, 50. There's Hidden Fates for 115. I, I don't know, I mean, it seems high. Oh, here are some games. What in the world? PS2, PS2, all games, $350? <laughs> That's crazy. Who Who is gonna come in here and buy that? Look at this. Like seriously, I know that game right there has a little bit of value, but I mean, to be the person that's like, I'm buying a PS2 collection for 350 at a flea market, that's, that's pretty crazy. Ooh, look at this. Some old school Pokemon cards. There's Vaporeon from Jungle, Dark Dragonite, Clefable. Those are pretty rad. Have old Pokemon cards, I'll buy them. So I've never seen this before. This is the first time I've seen where people are uh, advertising that they buy games and comics and stuff. It's, I mean, it's smart, but it's different. Okay, so I definitely don't want to rant too much about this, but I do think that this is one of the problems that we're seeing in flea markets in today's time, and that is just things that are way overpriced, either at eBay 
or even above eBay. So why does that frustrate me? Uh, for a couple different reasons. The first is I don't think you should be selling things in a flea market at eBay prices. And here's why. Uh, if I wanted to buy, let's say, Super Mario 64 and it costs $25 on eBay, like $25, I can sit on my couch, in my bed, and click buy it now, and a couple days later it shows up at my house, there's very little for me to do. It, I just sit there and it comes to me. So I actually have to go out to a flea market, drive out there, spend gas money. Uh, I'm not gonna spend the same exact amount uh, as I would on eBay. And then also from the seller's perspective, I don't think you should be selling at eBay prices because you have to pay eBay. A, a, a price to put it on, you have to pay them their fees and you have to ship it. So when I sell at conventions, uh, I, I really want to start selling at flea markets, but if I did, you, you have to be under the eBay price. People are, are shopping at flea markets to get good deals. Why would I pay the eBay price, right? I would probably be around the 20% off, maybe 25% off of eBay because you were paying again 15 to 20% all in with, with shipping and fees uh, to eBay. So it does frustrate the crap out of me. I would love to know your thoughts down below, but I think uh, I added up all these games together and I didn't even get 350 in value on all these PS2 games, which was crazy. Who is gonna go into this flea market and, and spend $350? Uh, I have no idea, but all right, uh, I digress. Let's get into first this package. So this package is from my buddy, Harry Tornado. Uh, he is a, a reselling channel uh, and I actually got to hang out with him I guess like a month and a half ago, two months ago at this point. I have a video of that, I just have not released it yet. But he did say he found some stuff and he thought that I may like it. I'm assuming it's nostalgic type items. So let's crack into this. All right guys, first thing we have is a Stay Puffed, the Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Is this vintage? 1984. That's amazing. I never, ever see Ghostbusters uh, items and I don't have almost any. So that's cool uh, to get. Thank you so much for that. Harry Tornado coming through. Another Ghostbusters item. We got Slimer and he appears to be pretty old too. 1984. Y'all, Amazing, thank you so much. Uh, and then we have two more two more things in here. Here's a note. We truly appreciate your support. Um, this is like a thank you card that he puts into probably all of his um, eBay um, sales. So nothing like specifically said to me other than thanks Rick. So I won't read that to you guys, but that's a really cool touch. I feel like not everybody does. Uh, and then we have these two Jurassic Park Eggs, y'all, are these old? What is, it? what are in, the 1992, 1992, there is a toy dinosaur and candy inside. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Should I open it and potentially eat candy? I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Here, let's do it, let's do it. I'm feeling crazy today. Let me get really sick. Here. Dinosaur egg has been opened and, okay, I feel a little bit better. This candy's actually packaged. Here is a little dino, so that's cute. And these look really like, I don't know if they look old or maybe they're supposed to look like this. They look like this little dinosaur eggs. So I'm gonna do this because I'm feeling nuts today. And uh, yeah, so call the ambulance. I'm sure I'll be heading to the hospital soon. Here we go. Let's just do one, one little egg. They almost look like runts. Those little candies that you get in like the 25 cent machine. Okay, definitely tastes old and stale, but I can still taste like that it would taste good. Real fruity flavor and mixed with dust stale flavor. Not bad, I'm not gonna eat the rest of these, but hey, we did it. So let's get into these pickups real quick. Uh, the first thing we got is this little robot. So I am starting to get into like vintage robots. I don't know why, I've just, I've been finding them here uh, as of late and this one was really cheap and I liked how he looked. I'm assuming he does not work, but at the price we paid, totally cool. Uh, 1980, 1985, I believe, uh, by Bot 
toy, so maybe they made other robots as well, but uh, pretty cool to pick up our very first vintage force bot. Next up, we have volume two of one of my favorite childhood shows, Tailspin. I, I love this show so much. I have uh, the games. I have, I think, the NES game and the Sega Genesis game, but I do not have any, any of the Tailspin DVDs. I have one VHS, um, but that is it. So here is volume two. Uh, obviously, there's a volume one, and I don't know what other ones there are beyond that, but uh, I'm happy to pick up uh, Volume 2, our first Tailspin DVD to add to the collection. And our last pickup is the Star Wars catchphrase game. Now, I only bought this because it was cheap and because I know that, um, or I knew that my, my buddy Michael would love this. So he loves Star Wars, loves it so much. Anytime I see stuff at a reasonable price, uh, I pick it up for him. So, so cool to pick this up. But guys, you tell me down below what was your favorite thing that we saw, that we picked up, and I wanna know again your thoughts about this whole flea market versus eBay pricing situation. Do you think that people should price the, at, you know, at the same price as they would online or should it be cheaper? I'm on the cheaper uh, side, but you guys tell me down below. As always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, if you are enjoying the retro hunting series, subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, peace.